Hi guys, my name is Cristobal Mondragon. I'm the owner of Queen Bee Cleaning, and today is a day in the life of a cleaning business owner. Wait, wait, wait. That's not it, the footage. My name is Cristobal. I'm the owner of Queen Bee Cleaning, and this is the day in the life. This simple hack right here is gonna save you money, save you time. Today we're gonna be actually going to these two locations. Here we have a team of two girls, so that's one cleaner doing the kitchen. They already finished the bathroom. Time's ticking, guys. So at $1,000, you have a business up and running. Today, I'm gonna show you my schedule, my routine, what did I do on a day-to-day -day basis. So stay with me today, because it's gonna be a fun day. All right. Another day, another dollar. Let's get going. All right, so the first thing I need to do is actually uh, brush my teeth. And then after that, we're just gonna meditate for five minutes. I, I like to meditate. It's one of my first things I do before I put any type of information in my brain and then uh, get ready for the day. So let's go. All right. So I usually meditate 10 minutes per day, no more than that. So I was able to find this cool app. Uh, I love it. It's called Calm. And after I found this app, it just made my meditation so much easier. So I really recommend you guys uh, Calm app. It really, it's, it's amazing. Now it's time to do some workout. Sometimes I use the virtual gym, but today is back day and leg day. So I'm gonna be hitting the raw machine, my favorite. What I like to do is listen to audiobooks. One audiobook that I just finished reading, actually listening yesterday, is called Boy Back Your Time by Dan Martell. I recommend that book to uh, every entrepreneur. That's what I like to do, you know, because it's 30 minutes in the raw machine. I like to just listen to something. And at the same time, I'm working out. And it's like I'm, I'm killing two birds with one stone. So right now it's 6.40. Um, I need to make sure that there's no late minute cancellations or someone who booked online last night, just to make sure that we're ready. This is one of those days that I actually don't get that many emails, so that's good. Should be fairly easy today. I'm already liking my day already. Uh, as far as the scheduling, so everything looks uh, solid. And um, today we're gonna be actually going to these two locations. It's gonna be in Seattle. We're gonna show you, you know, what I do during the day. So let's get going. Hey Jenny, it's time to go. All right, let's go. All right, guys, so now I'm just gonna drop off my daughter to high school and then I'm gonna be coming back. Uh, we're gonna eat some hearty meal, Mexican meal, and then we're gonna head up to work. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we're back. We're gonna get something to eat. Then actually after that, um, I'm gonna have to check on one of my students. So I have a coaching program that, where I teach other people how to open a clean business. And I actually have a meeting with him at 9 a.m. So should be enough time for me to take a shower first, get some breakfast, and then, and then and I have the meeting with him. And then we're gonna go to work. I'm just gonna go here, uh, take a shower quick, real quick. And, uh, and then get ready. 15 minutes later. All right, guys, so I'm all good. Uh, took a shower, I feel fresh, ready for taking the day. Uh, I'm gonna get some, eat some breakfast, and then after that, I'm gonna jump on the computer, uh, help one of my students, and then we'll start the day. Awesome. Chris, uh -huh. I see a new products. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I need to buy some ones and uh, try the new products. Okay. Maybe they are better. What okay. Have? What, what store are you gonna go? Uh, I think so, Lowe's. Lowe's? Okay. Yes, and another thing, we need to check the inventory because I need to order some items. Oh, that's right. We need to get some degreaser. So I'm going to yes. go to the dollar store and then get some of that and, uh, and so replenish the, the storage. Mm -hmm. So essentially, you know, this is what we do every morning. You know, we, we should, she takes care of the scheduling and I take care of the marketing and, and dealing with customer service. And then that's how we keep a good balance and uh, happy wife, happy life. All right. So. 
Let's see, so I have an appointment with one of my students, his name is Santiago. He's having some problems with the pricing on his booking form for uh, his cleaning prices. So I'm gonna jump in right here and, and help him out. Uh, but before I do that, let me actually show you how I organize my day. The way I handle my day today is by having blocks of time. So let me show you real quick what my calendar looks like. From six to eight, I do what is called deep work. You know, usually there's no distractions, nobody's calling me, so I can do a lot of work in these two hours uh, before anything starts uh, going on. One software that I love to use because it's super simple to set it up, it's, it's very affordable, and it keeps all the things in the same page, is Slack. So Slack, it's essentially, it's a, it's a chat platform. Um, think about it as like WhatsApp, but the beauty about Slack is that you can create sections or what they call channels. So I have a different channel for every scenario. This cancellation channel is so important to me because we get cancellations all the time. So we have a channel where all the cleaners, they need to take the pictures of the home when they're done. This accomplishes two things. The first one is when we get the pictures on the channel, we know the job got done and now we can run the card and then submit the, the review request to the customer. And number two, it helps us to protect us because there's tons of times when the customer will call and then complain about it. Say, hey, your cleaners didn't do a good job. Your cleaners didn't clean this, this area. When I have the pictures, then I have something to defend. This simple hack right here, taking the pictures of the job is gonna save you money, save you time. And then now you know that your cleaners are on schedule without them calling you. I love it. All right. So with that out of the way, let me invite my uh, student to the meeting. Santiago, good morning, my friend. How are you? Oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready to roll. You know, I, had a, I have a busy day actually today and when you call me this morning about the pricing that, on your booking form, I'm like, let's jump on the, on the computer and let's see what's going on. It's supposed to be working by now. All right, guys, so that's a wrap. That was a, a support call with one of my students. And uh, if you want to learn more about how to run a cleaning business from A to C and then have my support, well, definitely check our course with that we created with Offlip. The link is gonna be down below. And this is what you're gonna learn in this course. It's, it's, a, it's a very detailed course where I'm gonna teach you how to get your license, how to get your permits, how to get your pricing, how to get people to help you, and how to get good customers that are gonna pay you top money for your services. It's not that difficult. It's not like other businesses that you need a lot of capital to start. This business, I promise you, you can start it with $5,000, maybe even less. And I promise you, if you start the business this week, you're gonna have your first customer this week. It's that simple. So if you wanna get the support of someone who's done it for nine years and knows what he's talking about, then I invite you to click on the link below and I'll catch you on the other side. I just got a call from one of my cleaners and told me that they need four uh, sets of uh, li linings. And then the other cleaner also called me and said that they need another three sets of linings. So come on, follow me and I'll show you what it's that about. So all this is the uh, clean laundry for the Airbnbs. And we haven't separated by, by size. So this is king size. It has a flat sheet, a duvet cover, a fitted sheet, uh, four pillowcases, two towels that are large, two towels medium, two small uh, towels, and the bath mat. So each bag contains this so that we know uh, that is the full package for each room. So in this case, according to my cleaners, they requested two kings, four queens. That's for one of the units. And then the other unit, three queens two and three. These ones right here, that's, these are the packages for the bathroom. This one is the kitchens. So that's one and two. Bathrooms I need four. So there's one, two, three, and four. And that's it. So this is the stuff that I need to take back guys to, uh, to the units. I'm gonna load it onto the truck and then I'm gonna show you around how they look like. So one of the things that uh, you probably noticed from this video, from the other two videos, is that the last time I had all the supplies in a storage unit. And uh, well, that worked very well for, for the most part, but they, they raised the prices almost double. In order to renew it, you're gonna go from 400 to 750. And I'm like, well, 
let me think about that. I like to keep the cost low. I really don't like to be spending so much. And, and so that's what we did. So we have actually some of the stuff. You don't see most of the stuff, but inside there, there's um, kind of like the basement. So that right there is full of stuff for laundry, all Airbnb stuff and cleaning stuff. And so that's usually where I, we have most of our supplies. Now, one of the things I wanted to mention and why is this such a cool business to start? Like I said, you don't need thousands of dollars. All you need, this is gonna be your most expensive equipment. It's a vacuum, Kenmore. You can get uh, other ones. Uh, we started using these ones and they're being really good and very well. So this will run you about 400 bucks. Supplies and towels, maybe another 600. So at a thousand dollars, you have a business up and running. That's it guys. So now I'm gonna load these um, supplies into my truck and uh, we're gonna get going. So let's follow me. All right, let's go guys. Hey guys, it's 11.30. We got a little bit of traffic on our way here, but um, we got to the first location and uh, let's get going. We're gonna drop off some of the clean stuff and then we're gonna head down to the second location. So this unit is actually pretty small, so it's gonna be only be one bathroom, one bedroom. All right. This building is always hot. It's like it's a sauna. You lose weight in here. All right. Nee, chicas. Ahora sí. All right, guys. So here we are. So this is the clean laundry. This is going to be the kitchen and it's going to be the bathroom. So I'm just going to drop this one right here. Here I have a team of two girls. So that's Lupita and Osiris, uh, usually that's how it works. So we have one cleaner doing the kitchen. They already finished the bathroom. As you can tell, it's as wide as you can get. Uh, everything, every cranny needs to be super clean. This one, super clean, nice and shiny. Here's the shower. It has to be perfect. So it's very important that you guys clean top to bottom. They also check this, right? Nothing, same thing here. Nothing, we have to clean inside, inside the washer, inside the dryer, clean the filters, has to be completely clean, like it's brand new, very important. Really take the time to actually do it right. Uh, we don't want the, the guests to get bad reviews and we don't want to come back and clean for free. What they're doing right now is clean the kitchen. Sometimes there's stuff in the refrigerator, we need to get rid of that. And let's take a look, see if there's any food left over in the fridge. Like here, perfect example. Okay, there's a, some keto bread, I don't, I don't like it. Some bagels. Provolone cheese. Some more cheese. Yogurt. You know, provolone. I get asked, like, do you really get rid of all this food even though it's clean? We have to, I mean, it's, it's like the next guest obviously doesn't want to have that in, in their in the unit. And we don't really know who was here, so we just dispose of it. Unless it's sealed, you know, the girls can take it, you know, and like I said, get tequila, some, some fancy liquor, I'll take that home. Why not? That's the spirit. Also, one of the things that I need to do at the beginning is check for any damages, right? Sometimes the previous guests, sometimes they break stuff. And so before we even start cleaning, we need to take pictures, document it, and then send it over to the guests to say, hey, the TV is broken, or the, 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 the remote, they took the remote, so there's no remote for the TV, um, things like that. So once that we check that, and we're good to go, all we need to do is clean after, take pictures, and then into the next one. All right, guys, so it's about almost one o'clock, so we just drop off with the first location, and I'm gonna grab the dirty laundry, take it on the truck, and then we're gonna head over to the other location. So just follow me. The way you find these type of properties is very easy. All you need to do is go to Facebook, look for Facebook groups. For example, Airbnb host in Seattle, BRBO host in Seattle. You know, once that they accept into the group, you say, hey, my name is Cristobal. I own Queen Bee Cleaning Service. We specialize, very important, we specialize in Airbnb cleaning. We know the demands of the, of the travel industry and we wanna make sure that you get five-star reviews so you get more bookings. 
We have specials going on. Please contact me if you want to get a free quote for your Airbnb and I'll show you what the difference for a white glove service is. That's all you need to do. Once that you post that, tons of people are going to contact you. Now, here's the thing. Not everybody's going to be a good customer. There's customers that pay very little, especially the ones that are starting the business. And hosts that do know what they're doing, they will pay you what's worth because they want more bookings. So that's just a tip uh, that I can give you guys. The other reason I want to, I, I like to get these uh, units is because, you know, we're in a high demand area. So it's very touristic here in, in Seattle, especially in summer. We do cleanings back to back. So every day, that's what we like to do. So it's super, super, super busy. Right now, the season is about to start. So for example, these units, sometimes there's days that we clean them literally every day. So you multiply that times the amount of cleanings, you, you make a lot of money with the Airbnb. So don't sleep on this opportunity, guys. It's so easy to start. Now we're heading over to the other location. We're gonna go drop the other stuff. I'll catch you there. All right, guys, so it's two o'clock here. We actually got caught up a little bit of traffic on our way here. So we need to hustle because we have one more hour left to get this unit done. And uh, on top of that, there's a, another guy checking in at 3 p.m. So we need, to, we need to hurry, so follow me. All right, one of the hacks that you, know, you can do on time, right? It's always have the laundry. This, this right here is gonna be your biggest hack. A lot of hosts uh, nowadays, they want you to do the laundry on site. That is a time killer because you will realize that you will clean faster than the laundry is done. And when you do that, what's gonna happen, you're gonna finish the cleaning and now you're gonna have to wait for the laundry. That's why we have the laundromat in place so you can do the rotation. So follow me. We have uh, one of our guys, Antonio. So he's, uh, he's the team leader. Hola Antonio, how you doing? How are you? Good, good, good. So this is one of the main rooms. Uh, let me show you around. So this is one of the bathrooms. Certainly a little more nice. He's already done with this, this unit right here. Here we need to grab all this one and actually take it, take it out. So let's go upstairs. I'm gonna show you around. This is Berta. So Berta, she's definitely taking care of, uh, of the kitchen. I want to make sure that there's no food left in here. Follow me upstairs. This is the last level. So there's another unit right here. They already did the bathroom. As you can see, it's nice and clean. Also, this is an extra tip, guys. Um, so we always ask our guests to have extra pillows because sometimes people bleed or the makeup gets stained. And so this is super important. So each room has four extra pillows just in case. It's better to have it or not need it, than need it, and don't have it. There's the the, old, the other guests that were here. They're leaving, as you can see. And so we literally have this hour time to just to get it done. As you can see, it's pretty big. Um, but fortunately for us, Berta and Antonio are my fastest cleaners. I'm sure they're gonna knock it out, out of the park in one hour. Time's ticking, guys. Uh, so it's 2.20 right now. So we have 40 minutes left. And uh, I'm gonna help the, the crew to clean the uh, uh, outside table furniture. And uh, so that way they don't have to worry about that. How much really cost me to, to operate? We pay very good, you know, we pay our cleaners at 22, 24 an hour. Antonio actually makes 25 because he's been with us for a long time and he's really our best employee, but it's an average between 24 and 25. So if we take an hour, sometimes it takes two hours, but let's say two, one hour, it's um, two people. So that means, um, that means it's gonna be uh, $50 cost, right? So that's just on labor. But then as far as supplies, all the cleaning supplies are super affordable. So now you're talking $50 in, in labor, 30 in supplies. Um, and sometimes here, locally, we didn't have to pay parking, but Seattle is very notorious for expensive parking. We pay that out of pocket, so that's, you know, you're talking $20, maybe 30. So total expense, you know, as far as uh, for me, it's $100 per hour, but we charge about 350 per cleaning for turnover. So that's a great ROI. Obviously, sometimes some units take longer, right? Especially when they throw parties. When that happens, we actually let the owner know, hey, so we have only two hours left here, but unfortunately they threw a party and it's gonna take longer than two hours. So we have to readjust the rate in order to be fair. Um, and all, all we need to do is just let them know and they're okay with it because we still need to clean the unit before the other guest comes in. Our average ticket price for Airbnbs is always on the low end. The minimum we charge is to 250. That is the smallest amount, uh, the smallest unit, and that's the lowest we charge. Someone who hosts, you know, they say, well, you know, I only pay uh, 
a hundred bucks per cleaning and, and whatnot. So unfortunately, that doesn't work for us. We really strive for giving you quality and giving you quality takes time. To give you guys an idea, 250, that's our lowest ticket. And uh, for this unit, it's 350, three, actually 380. So when you do this over and over, you know, we, sometimes with these units, especially in summer, which is the high season, we do it every day. So it's back to back to back to back. So it's certainly a huge ROI compared to a normal occupied home because, you know, an occupied home, we just clean it maybe once a month, maybe twice a month, if, if that. This one, sometimes four times a week, five. So it's certainly way more money that, that is to be made in this industry. So we did it, it's almost uh, three o'clock. We're actually five minutes ahead of schedule and we were able to finish everything. So great job, Berta. High five. Hi. Toñito, great job. Yes, sir. Awesome. You know, this is why we also had to hire the greatest crew ever because these are the people who are gonna help you make it happen. Now we're gonna head back to the house, drop off all the laundry. And before we do that, I'm gonna give you tips that are gonna help you, especially if you wanna get started into the Airbnb cleaning business. So tip number one. All right, when you're starting, it's gonna be very hard for you to charge the rates that I have. I had to start from the bottom and that's okay. At the beginning, you're gonna have to get anything and everything. Just to get experience. Don't be afraid to, to not do it, but make sure that you get the reviews because the reviews are gonna help you get your reputation higher. And then the moment you start getting better reputation, you're gonna stop taking on the smaller, the smaller units. These units can only charge so much per night. Sometimes they only charge 150, 120 per night. So that means they can only afford 60, $80 per cleaning. Otherwise it will not make sense to them. You wanna stay and keep these type of units. Three bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom, four bedroom. Why is that? Because these units usually charge 350 to 400 per night. They can absolutely pay you 250 or 300 per, per service because they can afford it. Tip number two, this is don't do the laundry on site. A lot of hosts will tell you, okay, I want you to do the cleaning and laundry on site. That's a no. 99% of the time you will finish cleaning first and now you're gonna have to wait for the laundry to finish. It's gonna kill your profits, it's gonna make you waste time, and you're not gonna like it. You're gonna get burned out pretty quickly. Laundromats in my, in my area, they charge me 2.97 per pound. So what I do, I tell them, hey, listen, I have a professional laundromat that's gonna do your linings. They're gonna be taken care of well. They charge you 2.97, but because I'm gonna do the traveling and do the packages, I'm gonna charge you 3.79. So I make a dollar per pound without really touching any inventory. That's really not what makes me money. It's just an advantage for me to not worry about the laundry. And that saves me so much time, all right? And point number three, this is important. Act like you are the property manager to them. A lot of these people don't live here. For example, the owner of this unit is always traveling. Right now, he's in Bhutan, Asia. He doesn't have time to be deal with this. So what I do, hey, if I see any problem, take pictures, document it, send it to him. There's something broken, take pictures, document it, send it to him. They'll have peace of mind. They don't have to worry about anything. And if there's anything wrong, you're gonna act the point of contact to take care of those problems for them. And that's how you make money in this industry. All right, guys, so it's 3 p.m. We finished the job. It was a little uh, chaotic towards the end, but at the end, it ended up work out. So we're gonna head back to the house. Uh, we're gonna drop the laundry. And that's it for the day. And like I keep say, today was a good day. See you there. All right, guys, we made it home. It is 4.30 p.m. We caught a lot of traffic on our way home, but here we are, we're back home, and now all I need to do is really drop off the stuff that we, we brought. Some other people have asked me, you know, why do I choose uh, to, have a, to be a business owner? I can tell you a very simple answer. I love my life because it allows me to have a great work balance. You know, I get to spend time in the morning with my, with my daughter, with my wife. I get to do what I enjoy to do. I drive around. So in my case, I think being a business owner really allows you to have freedom and not to be stuck at any place, you know, uh, from nine to five every day. I think a lot of people uh, drop the ball when, you know, they, they get into this job and they just do the thing over and over again, when in reality they just can start their own business, doesn't matter what it is, and have the freedom that being a business owner brings. Hey guys, so it's five o'clock, we're done for the day. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and got to see what is the day in the life of a cleaning business owner. Also, don't forget to check my other episodes where I show you how I was able to scale from zero to seven figures in record time. 
you're gonna get to see how I hire my cleaners, how I find great customers, and how to automate my cleaning business. And also, if you have questions about today's video, just put them in the comments below. I'll be checking them out, and I'll be answering every single one of you. I'll catch you on the next one.